What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And this time, I'm doing Transformers. So, I haven't done a Transformer video before. This is my first time. So, you know, I decided to go with Bumblebee from Rise of the Beast. I have a lot of Transformer figures. Not, you know, could do reveals on them. I'm keeping all the packages because I'm planning on maybe probably throwing some of them away. I really don't want to. I probably might not. I probably will still, but I don't know. But I know for that like, beforehand, I will make videos on them before actually, you know, throwing them away. The boxes. Um, some of the figures, of, of the Transformer figures, I haven't really messed around with in a while. I'm gonna give you guys the background history so I like how I got this and all the other ones. So basically, you know, I was on a vacation and I was out visiting my grandparents and you know I had money and I was able to collect a whole bunch of transformer figures. And sometimes part of me wish I bought one of them like it's just, it's just optimus prime i want you know i still want to this day studio series 44 with the jetpack but alongside with the upgrade kit oh my goodness top tier for real but that's basically a little rundown on how i got all these guys I, you know i collected all of them you know i had to wait many days and some days i didn't because i actually went to the store and bought some of them but here we are now and here is the review so I'm gonna let you go not let you guys know now. My favorite Transformers of all time is Optimus and Bumblebee. For Decepticons, I love Starscream. And I do like Soundwave, but Starscream, I really love him the most. And now I'm not gonna call him a Decepticon, but for the Terracons, I love Scourge. Like, seeing him appear on screen is something else. Like, oh my goodness. But let me get into this reveal, y'all. So, here we have Bumblebee. Take a look at the package. So, you see, you got a nice good picture of Bumblebee right there. Looking really dope. Kinda got a little rip right there, but it's okay. You look dope. I really love this design, actually. It looks really, really cool. I feel like, I don't know, like, I might like this design just a little bit more than the others, kind of. Studio Series Bumblebee, he's number 100. Ages 8 and up. Hasbro, plastic-free packaging, except tape and glue. Transformers right there. Generations to car told me Transformers Rise of, Rise of the Beast. Another image of Bumblebee right there. He is a deluxe class, classy, deluxe. I don't know how y'all say these names, but there you go. He's right there. Yeah, you hear me? Y'all watch him go. He'll, he'll read those for y'all. I love his reviews on Transformers. Studio Series 100, Bumblebee. And there goes the back. He's a big screen inspired. Scale, detail, backdrop. Out of my logo right there, Transformers Rise of the Bees again, Bumblebee. And Volcano Showdown. He transforms in 23 steps. Right there. Okay, okay. I and he also has a backdrop, so that's it for the packaging. That's the bottom top transformer of the beast. Once again, put that to the side and bring him in. Alright, so this is Bumblebee. Once again, <laughs> you can see yeah black nice detail right there black stripes going all across the roof area right there 
like a black armored up window right there. You know that he's basically the same vehicle that he was in the very first movie in 2007, but just a little modifications on him. You know, he's like an off road vehicle, so cool. There you go, his head right there. That little visible head syndrome or whatnot, <laughs> I guess. Um, that's where his weapon stores, his sword. So I'm gonna show you guys. So let me here. I'm gonna tell you this right now. A thread. This gun right here stores on the back, right there. But I figured out a different way to make it look normal. So you can just see only the car, you know. His arms is sticking out there, but he does go really good. He does go really good. So here you guys go. All right. So yeah, like I said about this again, I stored his blaster down there because. It's just easy and simple. Really all you're doing, so I'm gonna take this off right here. So you see this peg, you guys? Let's just take a look at the weapons right quick. Nice, good detail. Nice, 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 nice. Just all done in yellow. I use more paint, but hey. So this port right here is what you want to use. Right here. Right here is what is where you tab in his sword at. So that tab. That's how his weapon stores. Regular weapon storage for this. These two, I don't know what you want to call it, but these two parts right here, you want to slot it in. Right here. This little move or whatnot this gap part right there you want to slot in right there it could be tricky to do but it's doable it is doable Which way did he use? That's what I'm saying. I don't want to really be. Which way did that be? That's how it's supposed to store back. I guess. It stores. That's how it's supposed. It's not supposed to go just like that. It's supposed to go the other way, but it's not working right now. But that's how it stores. You know, you you obviously see it stores right there. It don't store too securely like that, but you know, if you can get it on tight enough, like you know, you, you could. But with mine, it don't seem like it goes on tight enough. So, yeah, it just falls off. All right, so, there's what I do. This is what I love to do. And, and this is the reason why. That, that's, that's, it don't really work right there, right there. So, I tried it out like this at first. I was like, hmm, let's try it out like this. And you know, it works. It works. It does. 
just doing it like that. Kinda, kinda, not too much, but here's here's what you wanna do. First of all, let's take a look at the gun first. Matter of fact, let's take a look at it. I need to cut my nails, bro. Okay. I'm gonna cut my nails, y'all. Um, I don't know what his blasters are called, honestly. I'm gonna just put Stinger in them. In, in, in. Sting sword or something, you know. I don't, I don't know. Can I gotta see good detail on it? Can I? That's mm. got a little detail on it. I kind of like it, you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's definitely nice. Okay, and that's the bottom. Just for me, yellow port and peg right there. No. Oh yeah, that's for um, that's for no. Never mind. Okay, so this is how I store it. All right. I put it in like that, and then I take the sword, and then I put it in just like that, and. Not going nowhere. Bro, it's still really good and everything. And the arms, by the way, doesn't like ruins the rolling. It rolls really good. So let me show you guys this too. I don't know what's wrong with that part, but the doors indeed do open. Which is why I love this one. I feel like I am trying to that right there. I started doing it again. But it's whatever. The doors open really good. Like, they open. And I love that. that and that's another reason why I love this figure. Like, and I feel like it may be better than the other ones because I love that the doors open. And it doesn't have, like, that extra, like, window part right here that would be right there to where, like, it falls down right there to be the you know the roof i love that it's different and then oh no this part right here just i love it i love it i love it i love it but here goes the inside of the vehicle both doors open by the way yeah and dashboard Pretend those are seats right there with the little robot parts or whatnot. Yeah, I love this. This is hard. <laughs> Here's the front. You see the bumper, the silk, the silver headlights. You know, it's picked on the silver and everything. The paint for the headlights. And then these are lights right here, but they ain't picked those on the paint. It's just black. But yeah, there's there's his bumper. And take a closer look at the hood and everything. The window, and the window is like a a dark, transparent. What does Emiko say? Like transparent or something like that? I started saying that because I don't know. That's how I always thought it was pronounced, and I guess he made up the word, and it just makes sense to me. It, it makes sense to me. I don't care. Back. Back part of the bumper. You see the um, the back lights is picked on in red. No paint on the... Um, wheels or anything like that on the rims just all picked on in black but that's what they look like you feel me and the bottom again top side profile view 
And just in case if y'all just want to see me open both doors, I got you. I'm gonna open both doors. Both the doors open. Let me see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I kind of transformed it. I don't think it's happening really good. I'm like, no, I'm not. But there you go, both doors. So now I'm gonna just get into transformation. So we're gonna take out the left band. And first, what are we gonna start off with? I'm gonna start off with the doors. Open these up. Take the arms out. Now, like that. I'm also paying attention to the camera while I'm uh, doing this because, you know, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. But there you go. There goes your steps. You know, there's, some people transform and start off differently. Some people do it the way I do it. But I'm showing you guys the way I'm doing it and the way I do it. So, and sometimes I do do it different ways myself, but this is, you know, the way I usually do it. So I open up the doors, make part the wheels. So you see... I don't know where anywhere where you can see where it tabs in, but just put that put that arm down and it just clips in like that. Like so. Alright. So I'm gonna move the arms out just like that. Now we're gonna do the legs. So, split the legs like that. And when you transform them back, you want to line them up. See here, line them up. Just like this. I'm gonna just show you guys back in transformation mode because I don't know right now. <laughs> but take out the foot, which is attached to the bumper. Rotate the bumper. Rotate the foot. This piece right here. Bring it in. Just like that, just like so. And there you have his right leg all done. So now we're gonna move on to the left leg. So again, what you wanna do? But hold on. everything is just so in my way right now. Take the foot out. It goes in like that. Take the foot out. Just like that. Just like so. Rotate that bumper piece. So you see it rotates just like that. Rotate it. Rotate the foot around. And then take this piece right here. And then snap it in just like that right there. And then you have both of his legs done. Now. We get in to that part. So, what you want to do here is push these down. And see, I pop the hood up. They tab in nice and good right there. Pop it up like that, like so. Part. 
or however something like that, you want to do that. Extend. Tab the chest in like that. Angle these up like so. Just fold them up, angle them up. Put these arms right there. You can go. Now, this back part right here, what you want to do is fold in the roof. in that glass part right here. So the tabs just like that. Show it again. Tab like that. You wanna fold it all in here. And then bring it down just like that. You lay it flat like that. And what you wanna do is And there you go, you have Bumblebee in his robot mode. And his robot mode is dope. It is. It is, it is, it is. I love his robot mode more than the vehicle, but vehicle, nine out of 10, robot, 10 out of 10. So here are his faces, you know, his details. Nice silver big bright blue eyes. Good pain you see his voice box right there. And then his little <laughs> those uh I don't know antennas or something, I don't know. But All this nice, good silver going down his arm, then the yellow on the outside. All this good looking detail. Detail right there, going down. His leg look. Silver shins, bulky legs, and he looks yellow and black. You know, it don't look like he looks yellow and black, but you really pay attention. He's really yellow and black. Because here, this box, it, like, you can see some black and, you know, just like kind of blackish, gun metal, metal type of vibes of his, um, inner parts like right there and everything and everything else is yellow on the outside you know he'll look so much yellow but he has he's black and yellow um so here I showed you guys the legs here's the flip you see they still have some it's basically kind of still the movie movie Bumblebee, which is the Rise of the Beast and the Bumblebee movie, you know, they both go together, basically, um, you see he's still the same, you got them same feet, and everything, that same little book, and it's the same stereo, like, radio part, well, yeah, his radio was right there, right, because in the Bumblebee movie, that's where she played his tape, so yeah, right there, same little part, so the same thing, but just different, you know, he's not a Volkswagen. He's not a beetle. So, that being said, there. Here's the back. You see the roof car going down right here. Typical movie, but it's all right. The bumper's back there. I got some detail, kind of like right there and whatnot. So, they should have painted his whole, I, I feel like maybe, Paint the rest silver. I don't know. Is it like that on the box? Nah. 
I feel like they could have did a little better with it. Well, probably not really, because they don't really look like much. Um, you already know the bumper of the car and everything. Or in the front of the car, the bumper's like right there. And this is the middle part of the body, how everything just collapses and just falls up right there. That's how everything forms and works. You see the nice detail on the doors and the inner door sections. And then that clear, you can actually see through the windows, which is really cool. And I'm seeing exactly what you guys should be seeing. You know, it's gonna look a little blurry, cause you feel me, if you see it like that, you don't obviously see it, but to the window, it's a little small, and of course, again, it's gonna be a little blurry. Let's see. Same thing, you know, you can see. You can see my hand. <laughs> All right, let's run down the articulation, you guys. Oh, and you guys can have the doors however y'all want them. I choose to have them like how you usually have them. And I like to have them kind of looking, even looking the way it looks. So, his arm can rotate all the around and do a 360, but that will is in the way, so, you know. But he, he can rotate his arm all the way around 360, but again, because everything's in the way, he can't. 90 degree bend at the elbow. No backward um, elbow bicep rotation. Or, yeah, I think this is the bicep. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, honestly, because I'll be getting stuck wrong. Um, no rotation of the wrist and everything, obviously. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell. His arm goes all the way out like that. Let's see. Um legs nice good kicks nice high kicks nice high kicks he kicked just like that nice 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 i just do like that that's hard that's dope back kick that far and i feel it like you move the uh you kind of move these a little bit up it gets more far range backwards I think this is a 90 degree band at the knee. Rotation at the leg and the thigh right here on that ball joint, from my ball joint. And uh, you got ankles, swivel, ankles. Pivot, lots of it, lots of it. Up, um, no up and down, no up and down, no up and down at all. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah. Um, no, no kind of ab crunch at all. The head does move all the way around. It goes all the way from the side, and you can rotate it all the way around, just like that. The head looks up that much. He looks down that much, not too much. Now I'm gonna show you guys how he looks with the weapons. Well, I'm gonna store the weapons first, actually. So here's where you want to store the weapons. So. The sword, I'm pretty sure it's stored on this side. If I'm not mistaken, it's where it's stored. Wait, all right, here we go. Nope, it was this side, it was this side. The sword goes and stores right here, all right? So, this little part right here, that little Slot it in right there on this tab. So just like this. Like so. 
and that's how you store it. This part right here will store right there. So, make sure you guys see what I'm doing. like that that's how I like to do it but yeah that's where it stores let me get him straight now now let me get this box out of the way my bad y'all my bad my bad my bad my mistakes I kinda I don't know I wish the feet was just a little bit more pushed kind of right here or something. I don't know, just look weird. Here's a nice pose for y'all. <laughs> Sort of blaster right here on the right hand. So this port right here in the middle is where you're gonna, what you're gonna use to have him hold his weapon. Put it in just like that. You can do it nice and tight, really push it. Or you can kind of have it in there, it'll still be a little tight, you know. But easy way to get it out, just swivel it out. Don't try to pull it out. I wouldn't recommend that. See those right there? Here's where these will come in. You see those sticking out kind of right there? So, here's how you do it. There you go. Wind them up just like so. And you put it in. So I don't, I kind of thought like I'm going to stop liking the legs, I'm not going to lie. <sighs> and this, 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 this. Slice. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's our uh, weapon store. Don't you be weird now. Don't you be weird now. You were just standing. You were just standing. Nah, don't act like that. You were just standing. All right, I'm going to transfer him back, y'all. Wow. And then his arm comes off. Wow. That was so cool. <laughs> okay, man. Okay, man. Okay. 
Let's get down to this transformation. Let me get them straightened out and everything. All right, look, this is what you want to do first. Fold the doors just like that. Take out this part right here, the roof. Remember, remember, you guys remember it. Go all the way up like that. I fold these parts down just like that. Take this apart, rotate it down like that. Now I'm gonna get into the legs. Rotate the left, the left um, foot like that. Bring that up. Remember, fold it down like that. Bring it up. Fold this back part just like so, and then you want to. It will come around right there. Boom. 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 Just like so. And then you tap the bumper in. Same thing on the other side. Boom. Boom. Then you tab them both in together, just like so. You line them up. Oh my goodness, I this this back part, I really do. Boom, it's tab. Boom, it's tab. All right, John. Now you should have them looking like this. Now what you wanna do is, you want to take this bumper piece right here. You wanna take this whole roof assembly and everything, and you wanna take it, you know, snap it all in just like so. Snap it all in just like that. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna take these arms, Bring him in. They come in just like this. Bring him in. No. Rotate. Just like that. Rotate like so. And bring them down. You can kind of bring those bills forward now. You bring them down, and you bring them down. They like they like tap in somewhere. I forgot where they tap in that though. But you just bring them down just like that. Just tap these bows in. Just tap them in. I feel like it'll be easier for you. Where do you guys put in that, actually? Ooh, I think I know. Right here. Bingo. I'm just gonna go in. Okay, I, I don't know. I just be having them like that. But this roof right here is so annoying. I be wanting to break it. Like, I just I don't mess around with this no more. 
It's just annoying, bro. It really is. It's so annoying. Especially when it ends, like when it wants to untap constantly. Bro, that is annoying, yo. Like, that's my, oh my goodness. Y'all, tab the roofing right there. Y'all seen how I did the legs. I mean, the, um, yeah, y'all seen how I did everything, basically. And just tab in the door still, tab in right there. There you go. Then, again, this is how I store it. You guys can start on the back. I showed you guys in the first half of the video. I'm storing it just like this. Because it's better storage. Like, don't move. Don't come out. You know. Uh, then, when, when. Just make sure everything's nice, tucked in, flush, and everything. And there you have Bun Bobby. Whoa. I think that's, I think that does that. Anyway, so I but there you go. You guys have Bumblebee and his car mode. There goes the package again. Now, this I will give a good either seven and a half or eight out of 10. I like it. It's just certain stuff that kind of gets to me like, like how the back part, like the weapon for me, just don't store in that well on the back part. I love the fact that you can store the weapons right here. Those are my pluses. And I just love the car mode that you can open the doors. My also pluses. I love the transformation. It's pretty easy. And then on top of that, you know, it's not like the typical one will be, you know, it, and oh my goodness, the main part that makes it, I would say, that could make it a 10 out of 10. You know, it's it, like, I would say 10 out of 10 for this, this specific part, the feet. It's not like the other Bumblebee feet. I hated the other Bumblebee feet and the way they just, I don't like it. I really don't. Like the car mode and everything look dope, but I hate the way the feet look. He actually has real, like a real foot that rotates and everything. Like I, that's, that was my main gripe about the others. But y'all, um, trying to get these tabbed in and stuff, it'd be kind of a little annoying. And then trying, and this roof is annoying, really way much more annoying than that. But he goes really good, he's smooth, he's solid, he's a good, faithful figure. I would recommend getting your kids this if they like Transformers and they want a movie like this, this is dope. This I got from Walmart, you can also get it from Walmart, you can also get it from, um, I think you can get it from Target too, I'm not too sure, because I all, all think these are not a Target exclusive or just Walmart exclusive, I think these are, you know, you can get them anywhere, I think, but Amazon too is where you can get them. So that being said, you guys, this is the end of the video, thank you guys for watching, remember to like, share, subscribe, Comment down below what your thoughts on the video. Comment what you would like to see next and more and everything. Comment what other type of videos I would like to see. Thank you guys for watching once again. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the people who watch my videos and, you know, actually sharing. You know, thank you, you guys. Rock, y'all. It's really cool. You feel me? Thank you, guys. Just stay in the video. And I'm gone. Enjoy.